subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about naive Bayes algorithm. In our last two classes, we already discussed about the basic mathematics probability required for naive Bayes and we have given some basic general intuition on naive Bayes. And we already discussed some data set in our last classes. Our assumption here is you have already watched all those classes. If you haven't watched those classes, please watch those classes and come back here. So coming to, let's refresh our previous concepts once. The example data set which we considered in our last class is Amazon mobile data set. In the in the data set, we identified five feedbacks. Here input is feedback. So it is having positive class and negative class, two class classification. Positive is written as one and negative is given as zero. So this is taken as training data set and we already take some test data set. Only one feedback we taken as a test data set. Here we are calling it as feedback because in this data set input is feedback. So in general terms, this is input. So input and feedback in this class, we will use it as interchangeably. Means input is general term in our data set because we already discussed this data set. We got used to this terminology. That's why we are calling it as feedback. Okay, input is feedback. So what we have done in our in our general intuition on naive base model, what we have discussed is, so what naive base model do is given a feedback, means given an input, what it will identify? It will identify the probability that this input belongs to positive class. That's what it has to identify. And what it will identify? The probability that this feedback belongs to negative class also. So the probability that this feedback, this input belongs to positive class, probability this feedback belongs to negative class. If this probability belongs to positive class, we have got as a 0.6. For negative class, we got 0.2. So which one is having the highest prob probability, positive class or negative class, P positive class. So our model decide it as a positive feedback. Uh, this is what uh, naive base will do. These are all general terms. Now convert these general terms into mathematical equation. Uh, so what's our naive base model do is uh, probability of uh, belonging to positive class given feedback. Uh, given feedback what is the probability that this belongs to class positive class positive is considered as a one class k is equal to one just terminology you can write it in any way you can write it as positive for understanding okay so this general terms is written in mathematical equations like this probability of c k is equal to zero given f this is conditional probability we already discussed in our last class. So these statements are written in conditional probability. This we have to identify. These two we have to identify. In feedback, what we have in feedback? We have set of words we have in feedback. This feedback can be written as word 1 and word 2 and means in probability the and means the probability let's words are considered as events the probability of occurring this event and this event and this event that's the meaning of this so feedback is having words the probability of occurring feed, uh, word one and word two and word so on word n so this can be written like this probability of ck is equal to one given word one and word two so on word n probability of ck is equal to zero given word one word two so on word n these two we have to identify so observe it carefully this is conditional probability in our last class we discussed about Bayes theorem this can be written like this you remember from last class probability of a given b can be written as probability of b given a and so on this Bayes equation from our last class just use this equation here probability of ck is equal to 1 given f can be written as probability of f given ck is equal to 1 probability of ck is equal to 1 divided by probability of f 
the same way this can be written like this denominators are same for both of them both the equations so no need to calculate this so what we have to calculate here is probability of ck is equal to 1 probability of f given ck is equal to 1 probability of f given ck is equal to 0 probability of ck is equal to 0 calculating this is very very easy what it says is probability of positive class means out of total positive and negative feedbacks how many are positive feedbacks that's the meaning of that Pro probability of ck is equal to 1 can be calculated as a number of positive feedbacks divided by total feedbacks probability of ck is equal to 0 can be calculated as a number of negative feedbacks divided by total feedbacks but calculating this is little bit you have to understand probability of f given ck is equal to 1 probability of f given ck is equal to 1 this can be written as probability of w1 and w2 and so on wn given ck is equal to 1 here we have two options and means occurring this word and next word and next word if this in the in our last class we discussed about independent events and dependent events here we have two options there may be independent these may be independent words or dependent words so our naive base assumption naive base is developed based on this assumption what's that assumption is naive base words are conditionally independent based on this assumption naive base has been developed okay what's the meaning what's the assumption is the words are conditionally independent meaning of that is given positive class the words are independent means the probability this is this is our example overall and like and the and mobile the probability of occurring this word will not affect the probability of occurring this second word will not affect the occurring of this the that is what independent events is so why that assumption let's understand a little bit why that assumption has been taken so for a, for a understanding purpose we are taking this example now we get some questions in in english suppose if we see a word two dimension after this word two dimension what are the words that we, we will observe it may it may get space or coordinate system two dimensional space or two dimensional coordinate system means whenever you see the word two dimension after this word what what words will observe it may be space or it may be co coordinate system means there is some dependency in english then why we have taken this assumption that independent words see see calculating dependency between all the sentences in in, in entire english language is it possible and calculating the probability of those occurring of those words is it possible to calculate no we cannot calculate that's why we may, they made this assumption that uh, these are independent based on this condition with this assumption naive base is working good uh, in real time applications that's why we are discussing it today if this is not working good on real time applications with this assumption we won't discuss this today so based on this assumption naive base has been developed so if these are independent events this can be written like this probability of w1 and w2 so on ck is equal to 1 can be written like this probability of w1 given ck is equal to 1 into probability of w2 given ck is equal to 1 into so on probability of w1 given ck is equal to 1 we applied this formula conditional independence this is general independence we discussed this previously conditional independence so we are multiplying all the probabilities multiplying can be written like this in mathematics pi i is equal to 1 total how many words are there n words are there i is equal to 1 to n probability of w i given ck is equal to 1 so this entire statement can be written like this the same way negative class can be written like this so probability of w1 so on w1 ck is equal to 0 means negative class can be written as pi is equal to i to i is, uh, i is equal to 1 to n probability of wi given ck is equal to 0 substitute these equations in our final formula probability of c this is what we have to identify probability of ck is equal to 1 given f this applying Bayes theorem we got this 
So in this we have to substitute in, in this equation we have to substitute this probability of C k is equal to 1 into pi i is equal to 1 to n probability of w i given C k is equal to 1 the same way probability of C k is equal to 0 given f is equal to probability of C k is equal to 0 pi i is equal to 1 to n probability of w i given C k is equal to 0. Calculating this probability is easy then how we calculate this probability. So what is the meaning of this is probability of occurring this word given positive class means out of total positive classes given positive class means conditioned out of total positive classes what is the probability that this word has been occurred that is the meaning of that how we calculate that number of positive feedbacks that having this word word i is present divided by total positive feedbacks this is the equation for calculating this probability calculate this probability on all those words and multiply them that's the final equation for both the class positive class and negative class this is how we calculate the probability in naive ways the same thing probability of wi given ck is equal to 0 means in negative class out of total negative feedbacks how many of the feedbacks is having the word i divided by total negative feedbacks that is how we calculate the probability so these are the two final equations remember these two equations we use it in our next class hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you